Okay, then uh, uh, good evening, uh, friends, and I'm just uh, welcoming you to this uh, webinar. And uh, it will be my pleasure to read out the welcome speech of our uh, president, Mr. Dijan Mehta. Unfortunately, Mr. Purvik uh, Panchal, who is the vice president, he is also not available. So, uh, for this sixth uh, in the series webinar on red tag campaign mapping of inventory disposition of red inventory, uh, I'm just reading out the welcome speech of Mr. Dijan Mehta. Ladies and gentlemen, and my colleagues, it is my distinct honor and high privilege to welcome you all to the sixth webinar on red tag campaign mapping of inventory disposition of red inventory under BK Mehta Memorial Lecture Series. Lecture series. Dear friends, dear friends, uh, today entire country is facing tough times of COVID-19 and lockdowns and curfews are hampering businesses and routine operations everywhere. ITMA being proactive association always supported industry in terms of knowledge and information. When the world was in lockdown and wondering how to survive, ITMA members with their curious mindset, technical expertise developed new machine spare parts for mask and PPE kits and many more. This is spirit of members that in tough time, members are motivated and invented something worthwhile to industry. We at ITMA made an attempt to convert this challenging situation into an opportunity by organizing series of webinars, especially on the technical, technological and techno-commercial aspects for our members, MOU partners, as well as for our expert panel. The webinars are well supported by the pre-open sessions whereby the participants are sensitized to come forward with their problems, queries in regard with the product process and factory setup. As reported by most of the members, the contents of on 5S, Lean, and so on during the webinars help them in utilizing their time in enriching their knowledge in the improvement of their quality of their product and processes. It is pride for ITMA that Mrs. Hansa Ben Mehta taking forward the family tradition and generously strengthening the BK Mehta Endowment Fund, which was established in 1988 in appreciation of human services of uh, Mr. BK Mehta, who is known as Balbai to the association who was visionary, past president and trustee for four decades of ITMA. We are thankful to Madam Hansa Ben, who in her own way continues this glorious tradition of service and is admired in Mumbai for her philanthropic work. I welcome our guest speaker, Mr. B.P. Supla, proprietor of JPC Consultancy, and thank him for accepting our invitation and sparing his valuable time for his this webinar in spite of his busy schedule. I thank our past president and chairman of award subcommittee of ITAMA, Mr. Kirti Rathor, for his wholehearted initiative and support for this webinar, who will also deliver his presentation on the about topic. I also extend my warm welcome to all participants and thank you in adding the value to this webinar by your active participation for this sixth in series webinar under BK Mehta Memorial Lecture Series. ITMA is very positive for new normal world. New normal will bring new hopes, new opportunity and new ways of business, new strength, fresh ideas with fresh new world. Experience with fresh hopes, fresh mindset make country proud to us in future. We strongly believe united we can achieve the heights with positive direction. We wish you productive and fruitful new world. Work safe as work is worship. Thank you all. Thank you, uh, Mr. Kirti Bhai, and I request you to please uh, proceed uh, with the uh, further uh, going of the seminars. Okay. Bye. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm glad to see some new faces over here as they appear. I'll just quickly read through them. Sundar and Divej, I'd seen them earlier, Jagruti, Seturaman, Vittal, and Vivek. Some of them may be repeats, but I'm glad there are some new faces. I hope I'm audible, Mr. Matre. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, you are audible. audible. Fine. Yeah. So it's good to see some new faces. So at least, you know, variety is the spice of life. 
and I'm glad that we are getting some more variety. Uh, what I'd like to do is I would like to take, a, you know, uh, I would like you to make a note of two key messages that I heard from the vice chairman. One is that uh, we made medical equipment for the, uh, say, the industry during the lean uh, business that we had last year. And that is a sign of our strength and innovation to produce whatever is needed in the market. That, I think, is one of the most key important messages I would like you to take back home. Important, or rather produce, what is needed in the market yesterday. That's very, very important. And the second part is, on the second front, we are not getting that much traction as much as I wanted. People are supposed to bring in queries on procedures practices of lean management well we have kept wednesday and even today that is the first and the third wednesday of every month and we are not getting enough questions so i would say that if some people want to write in saying they don't understand what kirti is speaking or the photographs that he has sent or the tables that he has sent i would be too happy to reply with a written you know reply and then can be followed by that Wednesday meeting. So there's a window that you know, all of us are not equally knowledgeable about the subject, neither am I, but we can give it a good shot by being inquisitive and saying, sorry, sir, I don't understand you. Can you help me to make it simpler? And I'll do my best to make it simpler. You know? With that in mind, let's go back to the subject for today. It's basically, you know, in a high tech way, they call it a red tag campaign and red tag inventory disposition. But if you want to call it in a desi way, you can just call it, what is the excess inventory you have? Question mark. How did it come? Question mark. And what can you do to dispose it? You know? I would like you to please make a note of an experience I heard only yesterday. In the automotive industry, I would say, practically every manufacturer with the exception of two i can name i can name one maruti and daimler india these are the only two companies that i can tell you who a give you something an order and they pick up the material maruti has got 57 percent of the car market rather 42 or 51 rather daimler has about say seven percent you know unfortunately all the other players they really take you for such a big ride that if people don't have money in their pockets, it's not the manufacturer's fault. It is our stupidity listening to the wrong man for the wrong reason. I met a friend yesterday and he said that last year in August, everything started going well and the automotive industry said, Are, this has never happened. They said he bought raw material from anybody and everybody. He's making fasteners. He's got nearly 30% of the market share. He made every raw material. And in February, his, he has hired six go-downs. All of them are full of raw material. And not a single fellow is coming to help him. The message I'm giving you is, I personally look at the Monday newspapers and I see how much rain is spread all over India. It gives me a good feeling that we are seven days ahead of time. Devej told me that Ahmedabad has got rains ahead of time. So has Bombay. And I know rains are going to be on time and in quantity. But I once again tell all of you, anybody asking you to give you machinery and equipment and all that, be careful of everybody in this room and outside the room. People want to play a safe game. They'll say, Kirti, I don't have my factories running. Please, clo it's closed down. Deluxe bearings, send me seven ball bearings. I will do that. Then again, he'll give it to me on the 7th of July. I say, oh, seven has become 12. Then again in August, he'll say, sir, it's become 21. And I've become a bloody fool, you know, listening to such people without realizing he has got 18 ball bearings in his house. He has used only three. And he's trying to make me happy. You know, Arya, I've kept Kirti so happy. His factory is running because of me. You know? And when February comes, I would have 5,500 
ball bearing is extra and that guy will not even offer a cup of tea to me neither will he pick up my phone the message is be very very careful all of us this is a seminar for you all of us all of us are you know uh, you know all of us are uh, thinking just imagine why are we fat could be for different reasons and what do we do to become thin you know we reduce our food we eat on time and we eat the right food and so many such things so what we have done in our personal life is nothing but inventory management of our personal body i would like you to take that message home i can only tell you how it has helped me i have stopped eating salt since the last 2 years i have started drinking green tea for the past 12 years and this is going to be the biggest shock you will ever hear in your life i eat 12 rasgullas if you put rasgullas on my table and i can eat three pastries but with god's grace 320 out of 365 days walk run swim tennis yoga so i have five backup plans that i can eat and drink but my good exercise management outdoor management no consultant no trainer keeps me in good shape you know and god's grace i have no illnesses god's grace so the message is if you can manage your body manage your inventory in the same way and one last thing is yes so i told you i am telling you this is the right time inventory requirement will come from everywhere you know and i'll tell you what happens our sales team to get their salaries give you big orders our purchaser to get his salary will order more than required thinking that material will never come as such even our store people and our maintenance and utilities everybody wants to keep their chairs safe and show to management sir maine to bahut acha kaam kiya hai you know very good and then we create go down after go down out of go down you know so please be very careful if inventory is not moving in your factory for more than 60 days starting today watch out there is something crooked going on and you know what it is it's a crooked mind that's all people want to play safe just to keep their chairs and on the other hand customer places more orders because he thinks deluxe will never never deliver but at the same time he has given me 95% delivery rating for the past 6 years my delivery is very good but still he orders more you know so please be very careful the rains are coming god will bless us with hell of a lot of rains we are going to get good business but don't get over excited don't over inventorize yourself if material is not moving 60 days look at it and start purchasing less everything less tools less jigs less fixtures and start reusing the old tools which are there resharpen them remachine them and such such things jigs fixtures tools machines and your man re 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 retrain them resharpen them remachine them and you have the backup that should anybody fail at any point of time at least your internal processes are helping you this is something that i have learned now let's go to the next slide please yeah this is mostly i mean it's very good for everybody to see good companies will have their suppliers as closed as possible maruti is the best in the world it's for india i don't know what what the toyota and all do but maruti suppliers are within 30 kilometers of them 30 kilometers only you know so thereby maruti's inventory may be just about 15 days inventory they produce close to 6 to 8000 cars in a day and they keep only 15 days inventory as such you know so this is the first message if your suppliers are more than 100 kilometers away 
start helping those suppliers to become more efficient give them advances give them technology as much as i am giving you the technology pass it on to your supplier sit with him in his house see how material moves in his shop floor is material getting stocked up somewhere i know why it is getting stocked up because in centerless grinding it is the first process for us if rings don't go through the centerless then the next is duplex after that is bore grinding after that is track grinding then is honing all the other processes will come to a halt because in the first process centerless is very very inefficient then start de bottlenecking that by making that machine more efficient so that it produces material for the lines ahead so this is the reason why your suppliers should be 100 kilometers within you so you can just go on your scooter or your mobike or something sit down with that supplier and bring the material back on your scooter that is very very important so I, this is the first slide you can start using how far are your suppliers away from you and make a game plan educate give funding give technology give r&d to the nearest supplier near you so that you can reduce your inventory it will take 3 years to do this but that guy will keep inventory for you and you can start reducing your inventory you know next please yeah now when the inventory comes i will now go back to something that is here when inventory comes it goes through three processes you know first purchase takes place then goods are stored in the store they start going to the grinding line they are processed over there then they go to the honing line or uh, polishing line then they go to the assembly line and then they go to the finished warehouse oh my God. so uh, sorry so you know at all these uh, places you can see so much inventory everywhere there is inventory 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 look into your processes and start bringing it down i will tell you bring it down by bring it down by one day only bring it down by one day don't give a shock to it if the salesman if the store the purchaser and the customer everybody realize are deluxe bearings the inventory 15 din khatam kar diya reduce kar diya everybody will get a shock they'll say are deluxe will never be able to supply i will not be able to achieve my sales target you know and they'll say ah deluxe is a bakwas company and say sorry i have learned from mr maruti he is my personal friend i eat dinner with him every day he said kirti how much inventory do you have in every station give me that report then i will decide whether i should call you for dinner day after tomorrow or not you know because he wants that deluxe should be thoroughly professional thoroughly profitable by having optimum inventory you know now keeping the inventory in so many places look at it the line is fixed lowest possibly quantity and replenish you can see there are three stages or three layers over there in this they are showing you that this is the maximum inventory it should be on every machine every machine should have only three trays sometimes it will be only two trays just enough for the day that's it and then you will start changing your processes slowly you know keep lowest required inventory for that day in stores in grinding polishing assembly and finished goods as such so i say give a small shock to your people you know all of you are the bosses of your respective company the decisions that you take i am not teaching you anything i learned it from mr maruti that's why i'm teaching it to you as such you know use these ideas thoughts as something that you can apply in your respective businesses sometimes you have imports sometimes copper prices are going high sometimes steel is not available yes i agree so little bit inventory more you can keep but don't go overboard you know next please yes now the inventory you can call it the inventory tree 
what happens when there is inventory it is always moving inventory so we feel it is happy that we have got inventory everywhere but once material too much material moves then there is something called handling after that is transport which is incoming then transport within the house transport to your finished goda transport to your uh, customers warehouse and then transport into the customers factory from the warehouse there are seven stages of material movement if not more everywhere there is a scope of denting cracking breaking blah 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 thereby one of the things is don't have too much material movement try and keep it as low as possible Every, everywhere in within your house even at the vendor's house and even in the uh, that warehouse of outside the customer maruti's factory and within maruti again give everybody a small shock one day two days one day just reduce 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 you know then this affects the quality and i told you everything sometimes process rejects start taking place because i can tell you in my case when rains come in surendra we have a problem of what you would say is uh, apna rusting and you know it requires reoiling you know and rust starts getting into bearing steel if you don't reoil within 6 days then rust goes into the heart of the ring and maybe next 30 days that ring has to be scrapped you know why because i did not listen to mr maruti you know i was listening to another ex man there are two people i should listen to daimler and maruti if i have listened to the third guy fault is mine not anybody else's fault fault is always mine i never blame my salesman my store man my purchaser my vendor no it's always my fault because i did not use the intelligence god has given all of us as such you know? so then you get started getting rusting and cracking and all that you know so this is before you get excess inventory see what unmoving inventory has already done to all of us you know so the word which i'm repeating is in a brown book material must keep moving continuously like flow of water in a river and not get stagnated in a place like water in a pool now let's look at it do you know if there is not fresh water in your plants do you know that mosquitoes start coming in and other type of you know bear bugs and fleas start coming in it's because we are not watering our plants every day and water is getting stagnated and you must leak the plant at the end there's a tray god has given us that tray we are never tipping the water over and putting in fresh water fresh water is only little water call it drip irrigation so that the moist is so the soil is moist that's all it should not it should not be over watered nor under water let it be moist soil and when this doesn't happen automatically mosquitoes and such illnesses come in our own house you know so i think this is where it is now you look at this in green sorry red it shows you that you know you can see from around 94 to 100 means about 6% has to be scrapped can you imagine 6% to be scrapped in my company i will tell you roughly i would have about say 22 crores inventory all across the place if not 26 just imagine 6% of that 26 crores how much am i creating waste gray look at gray 80 to 90 10% but it's not required today it is the quantity required and the procurement lead time and green green is 80% as such and in some good months it has gone close to 90% this is the easiest way for us to assess you don't need a consultant i am your consultant for this moment but you are the consultant in the next second because this sheet is in your uh, computer i'm saying use this sheet and see 
you should target always first you should have 80 percent inventory for green and c moving to 90. you can use this as a benchmark it will take you six months i know that it will take you but 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 today if you start when a non maruti non daimler customer tells me that he wants to order i'll say brother i map my inventory as per this chart and if you are not using and fitting my bearings into your truck good i will fly material to you i own air india belongs to me you know i purchased air india just now only. i've got 47 planes i'll send it to you don't bother brother i've got 47 planes i will air lift it to you i will not charge you but you please start using the material that you bought in the last three months use that first you know do not take a over safety step because deluxe is your supplier for more than 25 years and you have given me 95 percent marking for the last six years why are you scared brother we are partners in business do not ask me to over inventorize myself as such next chart please uh, way, one minute uh, yeah. what does this x axis uh, so is it number let's of go days back let's go months yeah it is number of days it from zero in the left to uh what to say green on the right that is 30 days and your percentage of inventory north to south is zero to hundred so daily inventory management and yes yes, yes 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 daily inventory management believe me when you get into that i maruti will say kirti don't you have any other new friends why do you only come and have dinner with me i will say yes i've got a new friend he's very nearer to you mr bhagwat bhai is very near because bhagwat and mr maruti are only about three hours away kirti and mr maruti is about say three hours three hours away something like that so you have a chance to be with mr maruti if you get into this category as such am i good enough is it good yeah, enough? yeah. yeah? good i'm glad you asked this very important good now one minute yeah now before i go into this chart i have not given you this but i'll give it to you see the quality of inventory of course sorry it was already expressed see red inventory is not at all required and gray is useful and required but not for current production green useful and required for current production so let us start categorizing our inventory in this way having done that inventory study which is the chart you saw earlier let's start using this you know red now imagine not moving for 120 days dispose after systemic correction gray not moving between 30 and 120 days because the drawback is long procurement lead time analyze to reduce the purchase lead time in green alive and moving improve improve production lead time i go back to the first one when it says dispose after systemic correction inventory in every company is all your jigs fixtures tools machines people xerox machines water housing machines bathroom cleaning machines all everything everything thing 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 is an inventory in our respective factories so do a total inventory everywhere i have seen we've got 25 percent extra chairs in my company do you know that 25 percent extra chairs i have got eight extra glasses of tea and like that is blah 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 slowly first thing we do is all the excess inventory in our department we make a list and we circulate it to everybody so the stores guy will say sir i've got this but i've got extra chairs and i've got one extra xerox machine then he circulates to everybody somebody will say sir i want to buy a new xerox machine are you brother why don't you go to stores and take xerox machine from him and what will happen it's three years old na? at least use it for one year only don't try and become so high tech you know use one desi one year old xerox machine and when that breaks down totally i'll buy three new machines for you so old equipment we transfer it within the whole department there are roughly 12 departments in our company chairs washing machines tables soap hand napkins handkerchief everything inventorize and that's why i've seen in many companies even your table your chair 
is got a number to it, you know. So on SAP, you can see excess inventory. Next, wherever there's excess, if nobody can use the material in the next 15 days, we give a notice. Everybody comes out with an inventory map and within 15 days, everybody in the company knows excess inventory everywhere. People have only 15 days to use it. If they use it, we do an audit. Again, after 15 days, we come to your respective department and say, you took that machine, have you used it or not? And I have seen people again for safety, take the Xerox machine, but they don't use it as such. So after 30 days, if I find that machines or equipment have been moved and are not being used, on the 15th day, I send a letter to all my vendors. Boys, I've got an extra car, I've got an extra aeroplane. Would you like to please take it? You're my friend. I can give it to you at a very good price, at good payment terms also. So people have taken our grinding wheels, our excess bearings, steel bars, etc. Because all of us are in the ball bearing business. So if Kirti doesn't want it, if Deluxe doesn't want it, my vendor, he reduces his purchase because I give him some great deal, you know, as such. And if the vendor says, sorry, sir, I don't want it, I scrap it. You know? So this is the way to take the inventory, publicize it within the company, within the departments, and even to the vendor. And at the end of, you could say 45th day, Things that are not moving anywhere, start scrapping it, brother. Start slowly, slowly start scrapping. So all your red will come in that category. In gray, 30 to 120 days is very, very, very long because you look at your own manufacturing cycles. The day some of you are making spindles. So I know in a spindle, you will need that spindle tip. I know you need, uh, what to say, very, very good bearing you need some good, I would say, I mean, plastic insert. And then on the spindle tip, you need some uh, button, yes, spindle button. I can say that, you know. So you, know, you have the spindle top, you have the spindle blade. So look at the purchase cycle and the manufacturing cycle. Whichever is somewhere more than 45 days, there is something wrong in our company. Something is wrong, you know, because Actually, it should not more be more than 30 to 35 days as such, you know. And this is where the engineering comes, you know. You don't need consultants, brother. The book that I've given you, you are the consultant yourself, you know. Have you ever gone to the shop floor and find out why is it taking some part takes 35 days to process, some takes 12 days to process, but some takes 65 days to process, 120 days. The day it has entered the store till the day it left. I'm talking of the individual parts. I'm not talking of the final product. Start inventorizing. Ki bhai, why is my spindle button moving after 120 days? And why is your spindle blade moving in 12 days? It means you have got excess spindle buttons. That's all. That's all. So start reducing your spindle buttons from 120. Bring it down to 90. And your spindle blade is still moving at 12, 12 days, so 90, bring it down to 60. This is where the gray is something that we can work on. Green, green is something that is moving. Like I told you, the Ganga Jal, it's moving daily. Has Ganga Jal, has the Ganga river ever stopped ever, ever? No, water is flowing, flowing, flowing. Then our material should also flow. Why don't we listen to the great Hindu, Hindu gods? Ki bhai Ganga is doing something for us, but we are not listening to Ganga. You know? So please start listening to Ganga. Next, please. Ah, yeah, good. Now, this is in ITR means inventory, turn, returns. I can't, I, R, I don't know what it is. I know only is inventory turns. Matlab, uh, sorry, no, no, it is called in, increasing the inventory turns. It is it's still the R is there. I don't know why it's there, but if you see, it's the it word inventory ratio. turns. No, I'm first talking, explaining what is ITR. I'm not talking of mathematics, I'm talking of pure English. Inventory turns means the number of times the material that comes into your house, how fast is moving it repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Now, 
50 plus means that every close to 14 days material that comes into your house is moving out in 14 days as such 12 means monthly and then 24 means every 15 days and yes 50 means every seven days correct so we can be highly efficient if you get in any category more than 24 plus then you are keeping inventory 15 days and do you know something the banks hate you for that because you are not ever borrowing ever in your life this is a deluxe bearings third class army capex ka loan lete hain machinery ke liye lekin uska cash credit kabhi bhi nahi istemal hai usne 12 crore ka cash credit pass karwa diya hai aaj usne sirf 4 crore ka cash credit istemal kiya hai to wo bolta hai maine usko 8 crore allot kiya hai main bahar se paise leke aaya hu main usko dilwa diya hu lekin ye to acha marwadi hai kyunki rathod matlab marwadi hai na वो इतना स्मार्ट आदमी है कि एडवांस में लोन ले लिया है और बैठ गया है और इफ आई डोंट गिव देम मोर देन 4 क्रॉस आई कैन नॉट चार्ज मोर इंटरेस्ट टू देम सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी मस्ट एस्पायर फॉर इन हैव मोर इन्वेंटरी टर्म्स इन आवर रिस्पेक्टिव कंपनीज यू नो नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज या आई विल यस आई जस्ट रीड समथिंग ओवर देयर इन टुडेस आईटी एज Purchasing and keeping material in racks and pallets is evil. Receiving and quickly processing material is the right thing to do. So, uh, I mean, uh, th that's it. Okay, fine. Now, how do you start in residue? Have clean containers. When you have clean containers, no dirt, oil, dust means it's a healthy product. It can be used. Clear containers, no touching parts of each other and count free containers why if you see that uh, what to say earlier film there were just three rows three by four rows so automatically you know that every container every shelf has only 12 bearings that's it so automatically it tells you that there are 36 bearings in that one uh, what to say shelf that you saw so there's no counting otherwise if you can't have you know you don't need uh, accountants to come and do the counting as such you know so that is the message you know and uh, continue please next okay this is very important. First in and first out. The parts that are produced first are matched and assembled and given to the customer first. Because we have got slanting, all of us I'm sure have it, slanting racks. And there are only three racks that are placed slanting vertically as such, you know, like a triangle, you know. So they drop down automatically. You pick up that and when that is over, two more will come. And the signal is when two are left, then only one more in a shelf can be placed in that this thing as such, you know, which you saw over there. There were three. Good company will say only after it reaches number two from stores, they get a message that give this guy one more or to say tray as such. You know. So that's what it means. Next. Okay, fine. And that was there. So this is a very broad uh, uh, idea of inventory. And uh, I will give you good homework because tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, I will give you some more detailed work about integrated inventory management. Since we are all together, I will take the trouble of just reading, you know, some things which are important. One is there should be rack free, which I explained to you rack free, again, pallet free. There should be no fog. Yes you have to realize there should be no forklift in our companies because a forklift is actually do you know a forklift costs anywhere between three lakhs upwards to 30 crores also but do you need a fork because all of us can carry close to about 30 kilos aram say as such to have that much material only number one then lean containers is what i told you also quality of inventory mapping i also expressed to you now, practice of advanced 5S, single minute exchange die. We will do at a later stage. No received area. Can you imagine this is one of my dreams? Imagine in your store, 
including imagine in a reception. I've seen it. Do you know in a reception, there is no receptionist at all. You are getting locked. You can't enter the company until you have the right code word. When you enter the right code word, you go to the reception area, you punch in the second code. The second code, first code allows you to enter the factory. Second code allows you to enter the receptionist office. When you enter the reception office, there's a third code. The third code tells you, you wanted to meet Mr. Maruti. Na? You punch in Mr. Maruti's code, Mr. Maruti will come and see you in the reception. As such. This is no receptionist needed. <laughs> so imagine you can reach that level also. You know? And last is no receipt area and regular stock taking. This is very important, which I told you earlier. Do regular stock taking, find out the excess green, grays, and reds, and slowly taking action on them. And concept of Spider-Man. Uh, this is something that is worth, I was, I'm sending you the photograph, it will reach you tomorrow morning. The Spider-Man concept is, whenever you are sitting in one machine, man who's taking the machine, he must be able to walk and pick up the material in maximum five minutes. That's all. Even if he's, see, for him, there's an internal store. God's grace. I've got 60,000 square feet, but I've divided the whole company every way that anybody wants anything for his work. She or he has to walk only five minutes. That's all. Only five minutes. And that is a level of efficiency all of us can achieve. You must have the aspiration. Most important. If you have that aspiration, and yes, I'll send you the photo. I'm sending you the photo. I'll show you the photo. I hope, uh, can anybody see it? Yeah, I think so. You can see it, correct? Is it visible? Yes. Hello, is it is visible? Yes, no? yes. So this is, see, I'll, I'll, I'll take the book away and I'll tell you what it is. The spider is the man in the center and around him, I'll tell you what is around him. See, his material is right next to him. His coolant liquid is right next to him. Hydraulic oil next to him. Lubrication next to him. And there's all this is available then the operator is can relax and now see the philosophy of life when the worker knows everything is near me he has got less tension if he has got less tension he produces 15 bearings more i just do left hand and right hand i love to play tennis god's grace so that's what tennis is all about it's one of the laziest games you know a good tennis player, he moves only two steps maximum to the left, two steps maximum to the right, two steps maximum to the fall, back and front. I am aspiring to be in that category. I'll reach there. I know that I'll reach there. You know? And this is what we must aspire for. You know? Have a Spider-Man practice in our individual life and in our personal life. I know senior guys in Maruti, he says in 13 seconds, he can pull out the time, the pen, the diary that he wants because he knows exactly where he has placed it in his bedroom. And in 13 seconds, he can take it out. Here. He has applied Spider-Man practices to his personal life. You know, as such. So let's aspire to be in that category. And uh, for me, the session is over. I hope I have interested you. If not, there is a window for question and answer session at around 5.20 p.m. Now we